Video Gamers Oasis presents The October Scary Retro Point and Click Adventure Game Walk Through Marathon Stay subscribed for further updates. <laughs> Is he supposed to have an office in the library? Hired by Rose. And we're going back to him. We did that before, but we're, we've had to backtrack a bit. So let's see if we can find him here. If he's not there, then it's too early in the morning. We're still, we're still at 8 o'clock in the morning. So what we're going to do... We're going to go back to bed. Alright, first of all, I would like to tell... To, um, yeah. Go back to bed. Going upstairs. Go upstairs. Now go this door. This door is faster. It goes directly to the, to, the, to the bedrooms. All right, let's go through here. Up here, up, 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 all the way to the top. Now we're going to go. Um, we don't want to disturb Abby. She's doing some, um, some meditation, preparing for the seance. So let's. Um, oh yeah, there's going to be a seance later on. So you'll, that'll, that ought to be interesting. Okay, let's go over to. To the clock. I'll wake up at 12 p.m. Let's make it uh, 12 p.m. Set the alarm. Set. Beep, beep, beep. All right. All right, Nancy, we need to go back to the library where Lewis Chandler should be there. She's still doing her meditation, so we don't need to disturb her right now, Abby. So let's go downstairs. Let's see here. No, that's not where we want to go. All right. Let's check out Mr. Chandler. Gary Chandler, the comedian, but his name is Lewis Chandler, and he is the consultant for rare antiquities. Here he is. Let's talk to him. Hello. I was so wrapped up in my book, I didn't hear you come in. My name is Lewis Chandler. Surprise. Let's see, I didn't mean to startle, startle you. I'm Nancy Drew. I came to help Rose and Abby with the new renovations. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm Nancy Drew. I came out to help Rose and Abby with the renovations. Yes, well, I'm very glad you're here. Are you a friend of Rose? Are you a friend of Rose? Yes, I'd like to think so, but I'm an antique dealer and a client mm. told me that Rose and Abby had recently acquired the estate. I'm an authority on the Victorian era, so they were only too happy to let me use the library in exchange for my advice on the renovations. Okay. Let's see what else I could say. You must know a lot about the house's history. Do you believe the house is haunted? Abby seems to think so. Yes, that's talked about. Do you believe the house is haunted? Abby seems to think so. Does she? Hmm. There have been documented cases of hauntings in older mansions. And I might add, not all of the hauntings were by friendly spirits. 
Do you think ghost think a ghost is causing these accidents? Or what are you th using your library for? Now that's that's a mistake I made before. I don't I don't want to ask that question. I want to ask, do you think a ghost is causing these accidents? <clears throat> do you think a ghost is causing these accidents? Accidents? Mm -hmm. I know Rose has mentioned some inconveniences like that wall covering and the light supplies, but I would hardly call those accidents. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I'm quite busy at the moment, and although I'd like to talk, I really don't have the time. Please, excuse me. Let's move around. Let's move back. There's nothing else we can ask him right now. I wonder if there's anything we can use with those tiles. <gasps> the tiles, of course. Missing tiles. Let's save the game first. Save the game as uh, Antique Dealer. Good. Let's uh, get back to the game. Let's see if we can use these tiles. I think they go they go into different slots here. Different designs here. Apparently, they're not uh, not complete. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these with these tiles. It's a little bit confusing, so I'm gonna leave that leave that uh, for later. Save the game. Save that as antique dealer. Alright, uh, continue game. Let's go over... Um, there's also a Mahjong game here. piece of the mahjong when the four-sided box loses its border it's a bit of a riddle there let's get back here get back to the telephone I'm gonna go to the ticket use the telephone if I just find the telephone it's the corner here here we go All right, let's call home. Uh, one, five, two, three, five, 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 three, seven, three, nine. Calling Nancy's uh, family. Drew Residence, Hannah Groon speaking. Hi, Hannah. Nancy, how are you? And how's Rose? Uh, great. I'm really glad you had Rose invite me out here. Her house is so beautiful. Fine, but I didn't realize she was so young. How did you meet her? Uh, great. I'm really glad you, you had Rose invite me out here. Her house is so beautiful. Great. I'm really glad you had Rose invite me out here. Her house is so beautiful. I'm so happy you're out there. But I'm worried about all the accidents she's having. There's just been so many. What has Rose said about them? I didn't realize she was so young. How did you meet her? Let's say, uh, what, what has Rose said about them? What has Rose said about them? She doesn't say much, but I know they've become worse and worse. Hmm. That's one of the reasons why I asked you to visit her to see if everything is all right. Do you suspect there's something more to these accidents? The mansion must have cost a fortune. How could she afford it? Let's ask a question. 
This mansion must have cost a fortune. How did she afford it? Rose spent her entire life savings on the house. Mm. If this doesn't work out, she won't have 30 more years to earn the money back. Oh. Well, I should let you get back to your renovation work. Thank you for calling. There's probably no reason for concern. But be on the lookout for anything unusual. Goodbye, dear. Okay. That's that's helpful to know. All right. Well, let's save this as we'll save the game as uh, telephone. Telephone. our clock situation. It's after 1.30. Come on. Call Bess. One, five, two, three, five, 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 four, four, six, eight. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hi, Nancy. George is here. Let me put her on the speakerphone. Nancy? Hi, George. Hey, what's up? I'm in hey, San Francisco, helping yeah. a friend of Hannah's renovate an old Victorian mansion. She wants to open up a bed and breakfast. Unfortunately, some strange accidents have delayed the project. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, get this. One of the owners, Abby, thinks the place is haunted by a ghost named Valdez. A ghost? Well, I'm glad I'm not out there. Sounds like another case is in the works. So, tell us more about what's been going on. Do you know anything about the house's history? I met the resident handyman, Charlie. He's a pretty young... He's pretty young, and I don't think he has much experience. Rose is really lucky. This antique dealer, Louis Chandler, is helping her out. Although he doesn't know very much about the house's history. Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. Um, do you know anything about the house of the street? Rose is really lucky. This antique dealer, Louis Chandler, is helping her out, although he doesn't know very much about the house of the street. Rose is really lucky. This antique dealer, Louis Chandler, is mm. helping her out, although he doesn't know very much about the house's history. Hmm. That makes sense. If the house was built before 1906, most of its records were probably destroyed in the earthquake. But wouldn't he know at least something about it if he's some kind of expert on old things? I'm sure he knows a lot about old stuff, just not architecture or houses. I met the resident handyman, Charlie. He's pretty young and I don't think he has much experience. Uh, met the resident handyman, Charlie. I met the resident handyman, Charlie. He's pretty young, and I don't think he has much experience. Maybe he doesn't charge very much, so he's probably a good bargain for Rose. Or maybe he's just cute. <laughs> Bess, is that all you can think about? No. <laughs> can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. We'll be more than happy to help. But it might be more fun to figure it out on your own. Open up that old desk in the attic. Find a tool in the basement to help you pry open that loose bedpost in your room. Oh. It might contain the key to the desk. I've got the pro I, oh yes, I've got the uh, It might contain the key to the desk. Oh. Find open up the old that old desk in the attic. Of course. I should get going. Talk to you later. I should get going. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Bye. Let's talk to Emily. I got, but she's got a lot of friends. Uh, five, 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 three, six, seven. This is Emily. Hi, Emily. It's Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew? Nancy I haven't Drew. heard from you in ages. How's Hannah in River Heights? You're not in San Francisco, are you, my dear? Actually, I am. I'm helping one of Hannah's friends, Rose Green, renovate this wonderful old Victorian mansion. She wants to open up a bed and breakfast. Sure am. I'm staying with Rose 
Green, a friend of Hannah's in a Victorian mansion. I'm helping her out with renovations. I sure am. I'm staying with Rose Green, a friend of Hannah's in a Victorian mansion. I'm helping out with renovations. You know, you're lucky you caught me at home. I've been traveling most of these days, but after that crazy tour of Egypt. By the way, riding a camel is not as easy as it looks. My editor gave me an assignment right here in town. It'll be on the Dragons of San Francisco. Wow. Is that it? Uh, I hope you don't won't be riding them. What were you doing in Egypt? Dragons of San Francisco. Sounds exotic. What kind of dragons are you researching? Uh... Dragons of San Francisco sounds exotic. What kind of dragons are you researching? Chinese dragons. Oh. My editor thought this would make a great topic for a photo essay. The dragon is a very important symbol in Chinese culture. Oh. Why is that? I'd like to know. Why is that? Why is that? Well, the dragon is the only mythical creature in the Chinese zodiac, and it represents strength and prosperity. Oh. A golden dragon is considered very lucky because gold represents wealth. I see. The room where I'm staying has a couple of dragons in it. The room where I'm staying in has a couple of dragons in it. Oh, sure. Many of the Victorians have rooms with themes, usually colors or cultures. I once spent a night in a Victorian where each room had a bird theme. Don't laugh, but I stayed in the nuthatch room. <laughs> You're kidding. Why do they call those Why do you call these mansions Victorians? Um... <laughs> You're kidding. Why do they call these mansions Victorians? They're named after Queen Victoria, who pretty much defined high society in the late 1800s. I see. After the gold rush, San Francisco had a building boom, but most of the great Victorian mansions weren't built until the late 1800s. Nowadays, it's very popular to convert them into bed and breakfasts. The gold rush was in 1849, right? The gold rush was in 1849, right? The big one, yes. There was a huge increase in the city's population, and San Francisco had a reputation for being a lawless frontier town. Lots of people made a quick fortune here and lost it just as fast. Oh dear, am I talking too much? <laughs> I get so distracted at times, I tend to get carried away a bit. So how are you, Nancy? Why did you call? Is there anything I can help you out with? Can you tell me anything about the Chinese writing system? I seem to come across a lot of Chinese symbols. Yeah, that'll be helpful. Can you tell me about the Chinese writing system? I seem to come across a lot of Chinese symbols. Oh, it doesn't surprise me. The Chinese have been an important part of San Francisco history for over a hundred years. The symbols are called Hanzi, and each one represents a particular Hanzi. thing, or an idea, or an action. You find them all over on business cards, takeout cartons, artwork. I found some old papers in the house, plus a page from a phone directory dated 1894. Uh, wow, there's a lot of information here. Uh, do you know anything about Valdez? Do you know anything about Valdez? I don't think so. Uh, do you know anything about uh, uh, actress Lizzie Applegate? Have you heard of an actress, Lizzie Applegate? Oh, sure. She was a good friend of Lotta Crabtree, another popular okay. actress in the late 1800s. As I recall, she opened up a big hotel. What was it called? The Hotel Mandrake or the Oriental? I forget. Was it in this neighborhood? Is it still around? Was it in this neighborhood? Is it still around? Oh, no. This one was downtown. It was very big, but I think it burned down. Have you ever come across hidden rooms in Victorian mansions? Have you ever come across hidden rooms in Victorian mansions? No, but I've read that many houses were only partially rebuilt after the Great Earthquake, closing off damaged rooms from the rest of the house. Oh. I found some old papers in the house, plus a page from a phone directory dated 1894. I found some old papers in the house, plus a page from a phone directory dated 1894. Oh, that sounds valuable. It's hard to find old documents like that before 1906. 
Um, have you heard of an antique dealer named Louis Chandler? Have you heard of an antique dealer named Louis Chandler? You should know about him. Nope, never heard of him. Okay. I should get going. Goodbye, Emily. I should get going. Goodbye, Emily. Goodbye, Nancy. All right, that, that's, that should be more than enough time on the telephone. Let's save the game as telephone. Let's get back to the game. All right. Uh, all right. We've done enough there. Okay. Someone's ringing the telephone here. Okay, that was uncomfortable. Sounds like. Could it be a ghost doing that? All right, telephone. All right. Now we're gonna get back to where we were. Let's get out of here, come on. Done enough here. Let's go to... I'll go outside. I'm gonna find... Oh! What's that? So I saw a shadow. Shadows across the floor below my eyes. The October Scary Retro Point and Click Adventure Game Walkthrough Marathon Stay subscribed for further updates <laughs>